Hello ladies and gentlemen. In this video we will be talking about adding and multiplying lists. And you're probably like, what? That doesn't even make sense. Well yeah, you're kind of right, but we're going to do it anyways, right? Alright, so I know, let's begin. So let's first make a list. Let's think of a list of a, a, a birthday wish list, like everything I want for my birthday, alright? So in order to do that, we're just going to make a new list. So birthday and we'll just leave it at birthday and then we set it we uh, assign it values so to do this we just give it cube um, brackets whatever and then we just let's say I want uh, five things from birthday right and let's say these things are a uh, new guitar case and a uh, a uh, DVD series and then Adobe Premiere and then some swag I'm kidding that's dumb <laughs> let's go with a new clock and some uh, yo-yo alright so now this is our new birthday wish right and we can print out the birthday wish just like this And it tells us what is in our birthday wish. Now, what if we wanted to add things, like combine two lists into one list? So let's say we have a Christmas list. So Christmas, and I just want to put a few things within our Christmas list. So let's give it, let's assign just two items. The first one is going to be a new pair of socks and then some shorts because I like clothes for Christmas cool yeah there we go so now we have two lists birthday and Christmas now we can print both of these we can print birthday which we did up here oh, where'd my mouse go oh we did up here and then we can print Christmas like this and it tells us what's in our list now what if we wanted to combine this list well we could go print birthday plus Christmas see what I'm saying and now it's going to combine these it's going to uh, put these all in one generated list we actually didn't create a new list we just generated a new view of these lists put together if we wanted to actually create a new list what we could do is we could say a new list let's say it's items and then what we do is we assign it birthday plus Christmas now we have a new list items with these two lists combined into one so it no longer points back to these lists but it's just this entire list in itself this list has this value right here so when we print it print items it lists all of these items but it's important to understand that it's not dynamically generating these items from these two lists it's a new list in itself so if I change birthday to where I get rid of a new guitar case well then items doesn't change because it's already its own list I'll show you this let's go delete uh, birthday and then within these brackets, we could say um, the index zero, right? And now we can print birthday. And you can see it got rid of a new guitar case. Now, we look back at items up here, and we say it's birthday plus Christmas. We changed birthday. So does that mean it goes back and changes the values of items? or is items already set in stone its own list? Well, let's find out. Print items. And you can see that a new guitar case is still there. So when we went when up here, when we added these together and created a new list, this items list is a, is a list in itself and does no it no longer points to these two lists. Hopefully that makes sense. Basically, it's its own list it doesn't have to always get the values from birthday and Christmas. 
So now when the list of uh, birthday or Christmas change, items is not affected. So now we learned, in review, we learned how to, let's scroll up to the top, we learned how to create a list and how to print this list. And then we learned how to uh, combine two lists like this with the uh, concat concatenation, is what it's called. Sorry, I kind of stuttered there. Concatenation, or just combining the list. When we use print, we're generating a new list from both of these lists. When we actually assign these values to items, another list, well then, items is a new list in itself. So when we print items, we get the original values of birthday and Christmas. But if we, if we went back and we printed birthday plus Christmas, I'll show you. Well now, a new guitar case is no longer there because we're generating a new list at the moment of typing this. Now another thing you can do that might be useful, let's say I wanted to uh, print Christmas, but I wanted every item in there twice, for example. Well then we can also multiply lists. And you can see we got a new pair of socks, shorts, a new pair of socks, and shorts. Now I'm not sure how practical that is in everyday application, and to be honest there's a whole bunch of other things you can do with adding uh, lists together, and it just kind of depends on what you need to do at the time of your program. So yeah, that's uh, the introduction to adding lists together and uh, multiplying lists, obviously. So thank you for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Yeah. Thank you.